We posted that on Friday morning, and I was kind of watching our social media. Um, and there was a few people that they don't really know what this is. They just think it's a glorified simulator. So, mm-hmm. do you want to do you want to give a thirty second like what it really is? Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, we'll call it a modern day uh, professional level uh, simulation rig, DIL driver in the loop simulator. Um, fills up uh, an entire large room. Um, with a huge wraparound screen yep. um, with a cockpit that is an exact replica of, of the car you drive. Um, so when you get in this thing and you're surrounded by this this wraparound screen um, and you start up the engine and, and you hear it rumbling, you you really feel mm-hmm. immersed mm-hmm. In, in it and almost to a, a point of confusion where you're like, wow, is this mm-hmm. reality or am I in a simulation? Um, and then, yeah, so, so you know, the track is modeled extremely accurately, uh, scanned, so all the bumps and things like that are, are, are modeled perfectly. Um, just a ridiculous amount of effort goes into the simulation model, making sure it is correlated to the real car um, so everything from, you know, the compliance of the car, so things bending and twisting, that is modeled um, very, very accurately. Um, and, of, of course, the suspension and aerodynamics measured just as accurately as you can. So you can, you know, when you look at things like shock travels, damper travels, um, ride heights, when you, when you compare that stuff to on-track real car, they're within, you know, thousands, tenths of an inch. I mean, it's it's really mm-hmm. quite remarkable how, how accurate these things are. Yep. And then a huge amount of effort goes into getting the, the tire models as accurate as possible, um, doing tests at the track, coming back here, correlating all the data you can, but then getting the driver in and, and to continue to tweak and adjust to the tires as, as close as, as they are. Um, so if you do everything right, it's it's incredibly accurate. Um, is it reality? No. Um, and you know, drivers, um, have learned to how to balance reality in, in the dill. Um, some, some really struggle with it. Some embrace it. Um, some go very hot and cold. Mm-hmm. Um, so is, there's definitely an art to that. And, you know, the younger, uh, drivers um and i don't think it's because they're younger i think it's because they've grown up around these technologies using these technologies uh seem to embrace it and and can leverage it more um so when you have you know you you think of the progress of someone coming into nascar they start in truck right and they go you know truck xfinity whatever they come in with very little experience of the tracks let's call it so those guys come in at a young age, start to use this equipment, use it, you know, their first lap around, you know, Charlotte, whatever, it's going to be in a dill, mm-hmm. right? Then they go to Texas, their first lap ever around Texas is going to be in a dill. And every week they're learning to use and understand these tools, these limitations, how they can be leveraged, where they need to be careful, whatever. And they kind of carry that through their career. By the time, you know, they're in cup and whatever, they come in for a a Tuesday DIL session. I mean, it's just part of their routine. They they know exactly what to expect. They know exactly how to use it. And, and that's where you see the most success. 